I'm Steve Sloan. I'm the editorial director for the Saturday Evening Post. The man I'm about to speak to is Maddie Simmon. Maddie's going to tell us a story about credit cards. Now, what could be interesting about credit cards? There are 3 billion credit cards estimated to be in use today. But on February 8th, 1950, there were precisely three. And Maddie Simmons was one of the owners of one of those cards. I'm very pleased that I have Maddie here today on Skype to tell us what it was like to use a credit card for the very first time. Uh, the, the day you, dis you, you discussed was February 8th, February 8th, 1950. And the three of us had lunch in, normally at Major's Cabin Grill, a restaurant right at the foot of the Empire State Building where the first diner's club office was. And uh, we had lunch. I remember it so well that I remember what I ate. <laughs> lunch and London broil nice. and uh, then Frank McNamara presented his card to the waiter who looked at it and thought about it and then remembered what the major had told him and honored the card and that was the first credit card charge in the world. In fact, I was a young, very young New York press agent and I handled a lot of restaurants and uh, these two approached me and said uh, they wanted me to come in and work with them because, and the main reason they wanted it is because they couldn't get the restaurant to sell the card. So I, when they told me what it was, I said, I don't think that's a very good idea. I, I, ooh, I use cash. I never, I don't believe in credit. And Ralph Schneider kept calling me and we got very friendly and finally I said, okay, I'll come in with you. And of the first 12 restaurants that honored the card, and they were all restaurants, thus the name Diners Club, uh, of the first 12, 11 were clients of mine, clients that I was handling publicity for. And uh, it just took off. It just exploded. It was a, an immediate success. One could say that this arguably was a turning point. I feel, I feel like... The credit card before the internet, or perhaps as well as the internet, was uh, the most important new business device in the history uh, in our history. I have a I worry about uh, the extension of credit, and I've uh, given speeches about that and uh, written about that, and uh, uh, I worry that it's too easy to charge, and too many people who shouldn't be charging a lot are charging more than they can afford to charge. And that was never our intention. Uh, it was as bad as the, what happened in, in the mortgage crisis, or even worse, is that people were spending too much, they were spending more than they could afford. I, I still, to this day, am struck by being at, a, say, a supermarket counter, a uh, checkout counter, and seeing people charge a stick of gum, practically. Uh, Hank Greenberg, the famous, the great sure. Detroit Tiger first baseman and home run hitter, was a friend of Bloomingdale's. And uh, I met Hank, and we got very friendly. And I asked him to set up a meeting for me with the owners. And I pitched them, went there, and they were all there. And I pitched them on honoring diners club cards for tickets. People could go to the gate and buy tickets. And the general manager of the Chicago White Sox was a guy named Frank Lane. And he got up after I spoke, and he said, this is out of the question. He said, this is just a passing fad. Uh, baseball is apple pie and mom. It's not charging, credit card charging. Yeah. He said, this will never work. There's, there's almost a sense, I think, in, back in those days that charging was, as you say, almost un-American. You know, it's one thing for a business lunch or something, but to build up credit was considered a bad thing. Today, there's not even a sense of any, any criticism of charging it's, at all. It's just a way of doing business. It's funny it's how... Rare, it's yeah. rare to see uh, a cash menus in the restaurant. Yeah. One of my clients was a nightclub called the Havana Madrid, and it was owned by... A note of, most of the nightclubs in New York in those days were owned by gang members, you know, well-known racketeers. And the owner of the club came over to me one day and said, you guys are ruining the business. He said, there's no cash anymore, because they used to go over and take the cash out of the drawer, you know, not report it for tax purposes. Sure, sure. He sure. said, everybody's charging. So it changed their lives. 
charging is the way of life. Everybody charges for everything now. Yeah. Well, Maddie, this has been really great talking to you, and I really appreciate the time you spent with us. And I urge anyone watching this to pick up the current issue of the Saturday Evening Post, where you can read the article and read all about Maddie's adventures with Diners Club and the first credit card. Thank you very much for your time.